Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 8 of Let's Play Landstalker The Treasures of King Knoll, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Now, if you're wondering how the hell I got all this money, well, I went back to Green Peas and I kept gambling and I kept just getting 400 bucks every time. It's gotten to the point that he doesn't want me to play his game anymore, he calls me a con artist, even though I do a hell of a good job of physics. So, I've accomplished this deed twice already, and I get two gold each time. But, if you accomplish it for a third time... Excuse me. If you accomplish it for a third time, you get two gold again. So here you go, Nana. Funny, that pot didn't break. But, this chest is now available to you. Also, I went back to the dojo, and thanks to save scumming, yes, I do admit it. After going through all of that... Every time you go through certain intervals, he gives you some money that, like, Hey, if you stop right now, I'll give you this. But if you keep going, you gotta go through tougher enemies, enemies you haven't even fought yet. Then you eventually get this item called the Pawn Ticket. It brings your HP down to 1, thankfully not your max HP. But you get 10 gold for every heart you spend. So, it could be good right now. However, it's even better when you have a lot of hearts. Therefore, you get a lot more money. I'm a guard of the castle, but I'm off duty today. I'm going to Greenpeace. Oh, good for you, I guess. Let me go in here, then. I don't know who's been teaching him, but my son likes to sing strange songs. I'm going to guess pretty much anybody in modern music today. I don't know. That music just does not even sound right at all, my god. Oh, there was a chicken there, whatever. <laughs> Who are you? I'm busy. Don't bother me. Yeah, very serious job you got there. Oh, jump in the well. I'm sorry, this is a private area. No admittance. Aw, I can't actually go in. I jumped on this well for no reason. Look what that gives me. Fine. Mercator men tend to do some pretty stupid things for love. <laughs> Like that? Oh, Julie, Julie. If you won't marry me, I'll throw myself off of this wall. I mean it, no? Okay, here goes. One, two, three! Owie. Um. Okay, I will go now. I used to work at the castle in my younger days. We almost never get invited to the castle. But I carry with me the memory of its elegance. Yeah, you know what I saw earlier was anything but elegant. He probably hurt his leg, but he's okay. A labyrinth in the basement of the castle full of monsters. I have a feeling I'm gonna check that out eventually. I mean, that does sound very tempting. Can I go shopping here? The men in this town seem to be falling head over heels for some new cutie from the continent. Yeah, they're falling, all right. <laughs> that Ludwig is a bit of a sap. I think he's out of out of his head over this princess, babe. Wasn't a lot of people. Where is she? Oh, where is she now? Oh, are you a tourist? Will you hear my story? Uh, needless to say, I'm Ludwig, the world famous composer from the continent, not the uh, Koopa Lang from Mario universe. Princess Lara came here to study under me, but then, she just vanished! I'm afraid my lessons weren't good enough for her. But she paid you, right? She might at least say goodbye before leaving. Oh, how cute she was. Doll Delight? Hmm. You know, I would have said yes. Why the game never gives you that option? Take it from me, kid. Never, never, never give your heart to a girl or a broken leg. Not only do I feel sick to my... Oh, you're the one that fell. Okay. I don't love you, but I'm gonna jump anyway. I'm fine. Invaders from the tower? Well, let me go to the church first and save my game. Aw, well, that's very nice of him. Yeah, it would be nice if the Magician gets defeated, and then you would have lower taxes. But hopefully those taxes are going towards something good. Like, 
probably keeping guys from breaking their ankles over some woman. I'm behaving properly. I only wish the uh, gambler lord over there would let me continue getting money. I don't know why, but chills run up and down into my spine every time I'm near this place. Brrr. Wear a sweater. Hey, <laughs> you better leave. This place isn't for sightseers. Hey, hey, hey. This part of the floor looks suspicious. I'll have to come back to that later. Wait, I don't think I've gone... This must be the harbor, then. I'm sure she is, but I couldn't care less. Okay, well, this is obviously the harbor. Is there anyone worthwhile to talk to? Oh, I can't go to the pier? Man, there's a lot of places I can't go. I can't go to that place under the well. I can't even go to that little dungeon yet. If you love it, then you shouldn't have any problems letting me through. I want to enjoy the same things that you are. We can see many unusual things in the ship when the continent arrives. Such as... I like to see things... from the sea. I like to see what's in here. This must be a warehouse or something. No, it looks like a whole lot of nothing. There's books and a couple tables. That place has no significance. So why is it here? Will it be significant later? Why does this place have to be so huge? There's a lot of empty areas. What about over here? Oh my god, now there's another area I can go to. Let me try here. Oh, this is another road! Well, I don't want to go there. Let me check out the other side of those trees. Alright, fair enough. Oh, maybe this leads to the castle. There's the wall. How the hell do I get in the castle itself? This, lo this looks like a slightly different area from the one I was to before. I can go over that side. Is it worthwhile to go to? Okay, that's where that guard is watching from nearby the tower. Alright, well, why don't we go to the castle? I've pretty much seen everything else. What? You have not been invited by Dirk Duke Mercator, have you? This is not a place for dirty little kids like you. Get out of here! Oh, well, I went all this way and I can't even go. You know how I can get in here? No, you don't? Fine. Alright, now I gotta think of another way to get into the castle. Let's see... Is there anybody worth talking to? I can tell you're a real lady killer! Or, no, Friday's a real man killer. You nearly killed me. What are the officers doing inside here, anyway? Okay, you don't have anything worthwhile saying. Well, I got lots of money! So how come I can't do anything? Practice what you learned, eh? So how the hell am I gonna get to the castle? Are, are the officers, like, actually doing something at Lady Yards? Maybe they're actually going in there. Yeah, what do they do? That's what I'd like to know. I'd also like to know how to actually get in there. Maybe I can check out the fortune teller. Concentration, huh. Well, I can't do anything with a fortune teller, then. So I'm guessing I have to talk to, like, one random person. And it's gonna be so vague, you wouldn't even realize that that's the one person you had to talk to. And it'll just trigger everything else. I bet you that's what's gonna happen. Like, I enjoy this game, but I don't like when you have to, like, blindly talk to every single person. And it's probably someone you've already talked to that never said anything important, but all of a sudden... ...is gonna tell you something very important that you can't progress the game without it. But the game doesn't give you any hints as to where that person is, so you have to, like... Blindly look around. That's the annoying part. 
So how do I get into the castle? Is anybody near the castle gonna give me any pointers? Cause I know that's where I gotta go. Why do all the girls go for him? He's probably got lots of money. Well, how do I get invited by him then? Where is he? Can I go around this part of the castle? Maybe there's a side entrance I can go to. Let's try that. Wait a minute. There's somebody over there. That person looks very suspicious. How does one think to look there? I mean, seriously, it's just so vague and out there. Not many people would think of that. You wonder why I'm just wandering all over the place. I'm checking my cell phones. I got Snapchats going again. Oh, just someone sent me a picture of their cat. That's nice. That's nice. That's right. Get over to that spot near the cat. Out of the side of the river, I gotta go this way. Is this so my oh no, I gotta go further, that's right. But I didn't see that girl there before. But is there she's there now? So that's a very obvious hint that I need her for something. My dad works in the castle. I sometimes come here and watch the way they work. They look very busy. Oh I'm going to Madame Yards. Take care of things while I'm out. Yes, sir. This is for you. Really? They get a jingle for that? If the Duke calls for me, make up some excuse and manage it as you see fit. Understood. I've never seen such dishonesty in all my life. And that's all you got to say. Hmm. So, they said that he was heading over to Madame Yards. Maybe I can get there. Hopefully he's already there by the time I arrive. Is this the house? Yes. Mom's work is almost over for the day. Oh. How do you get to become a member? This is a popular trick among the young boys. Go and see the fortune teller. I'm sure you'll be pleasantly surprised. Oh, now I gotta go to the fortune teller. Okay, well, let's check that out then. This is very cryptic sometimes. Oh, I have to talk to you from this side. I know, I know, the kids your age are all dying to get in. Your wish is my command. Hamina, hamina, hamina! Pumwakul, yob, sir! Wait a minute. Look at it in reverse. Make this boy look grown up. Voila! You can get into Madame Yards now. Hee hee hee! Have a good time! Why do I look like Pockets, the thief? And I can't use my sword, but I can still jump, apparently. Look, I got like freaking Sideshow Bob feet! Good afternoon! First time here? Madame Yards is for members only. Registration is fee for 5,000 golds. But we're offering a one day free trial membership before you decide to enroll. Enjoy your session! Linda, show this gentleman to his room. Hi, I'm Linda. First time here? Okay, let's get upstairs. Just relax. Yeah, get some action. Find out how to get into the castle. Come this way. Are you ready? First, let me... Nigel! What are you doing? Stop that! I hate you! I hate you! So you took one of my- Oh my god! You took like- Look at all the health you're taking from me! What the- Hey, calm down, little- The name's Friday, sister! Got it? Don't call me little, or mini, or anything else! But Friday! I think you've misunderstood. This is a ballet studio! People come here to release tension, develop discipline, and gain poise to help them solve their day-to-day -day problems. I get the tension part, yeah. Madame Yards only enrolls adults because the stress ballet puts on the body with warpy young boys' bones. Ah, I'm sorry. I thought Nigel was... 
Sorry, Nigel. You jumped to conclusions, Friday, and you took damage from me. <sighs> Miss Shorty. Alas, tis a pity. Sura? I would have a word with you. Come here. Well, at least you don't inflict damage upon me. Fair, Julie. Shut the door, please. Okay, but no violence. If anyone discovers I'm a member here, I shall become the laughing stock of Mercator. My secret must die. With you! On guard! No! I... 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 I give up. You're a strong lad. I knew it when I saw the way you carried yourself with a sword. Since I cannot force thy silence, I must ask thee as a gentleman. Please, tell not a soul that thou hast met me here. If you promise not to, I will invite thee to the castle. Dirk Mercator is now looking for reliable mercenaries. The Duke would be well pleased to see thy skill. What is thy name? Nigel! Then, I shall await thee at the castle, Sir Nigel. See, Friday, you could be a little bit more hospitable at times. You're making me start liking Mondays more. Fridays aren't supposed to be this painful. They're supposed to be about love. Wait, why did I even come here? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to consider going to the inn, otherwise Friday's gonna start menstruating again and kill me. So, I guess what I could do is probably check out the castle, but I'll do that in the next episode, okay? I apologize for, like, hardly any battles here, but this is pretty much, like, a dialogue-heavy part. See ya, everybody. Thanks for watching.